Yeah, it's not really Wednesday. Anyways, tracking when and how after the intro. So, tracking can be very useful when composting. Now, you've seen it in my logo removal tutorial and quite some others as well. But what is tracking exactly? Now, I quote, Video tracking is the process of locating a moving object or multiple objects over time using a camera. So, how do we track an object? Now, we can do this in HitFilm in two ways. One point tracks and two point tracks. One point tracks are good for when you only need the X and Y values of an object, like when you're adding text to a moving thing. Now, two point tracks on the other hand also track rotation and scale, so this is used when very precise tracking data is needed. You've seen that example in the logo removal tutorial. So, let's get started. So, I jump into HitFilm Express 2017 and import my clip. I'll add it onto the compositing timeline. Now, we have to create a new point layer to attach our tracking data to later. Rename it to something that is easy to remember, like tracking data. This way, you can find it back later. Now, open the drop-down menu of the footage layer. There should be several things there, one of them being tracks. Click on the little plus icon right next to the text. The tracking window opens and the red and green box appears on your footage. The red box determines what will be tracked and the green box determines where the software will look the next frame. The bigger the green box, the higher the quality of your track could be, but it also tracks slower. Drag the red box to the object that you want to track. Don't worry, the green box will move with it. Adjust the size of the red box if needed by dragging one of its corner points. The green box also scales, but you can adjust it later if necessary. Now, we'll take a look at the tracking screen. Seems overwhelming, doesn't it? Well, don't worry, it's not hard at all. Here's what all the buttons and drop-downs do. In the type drop-down, you can select if you want a one-point or two-point track. Now, we'll choose one point. The method determines how HitFilm tracks. For almost everything, you can leave it on optical flow. You can leave the options as they are, but if you want, you can take a look and tweak some settings, of course. Now, we come to these arrows. These are the functions from left to right. Track one frame backwards, track backwards, track forwards, and track one frame forwards. Track one frame forwards and backwards is if you want to be really precise or when HitFilm has a hard time tracking. Track forwards is if you want to track while the playhead is moving forwards, with backwards tracking the playhead moves back in time. This is when you want to track a clip from the end point to the beginning. So now you know what the interface means. We'll stick to the usual track forwards here. With the box in place, it tracks forwards pretty nicely. This may take a while depending on your clip. When HitFilm is done, we have to apply the tracking data to a point layer so that we can use it. Go to step 2 of the tracking window. Leave the purpose as it is. If you want to stabilize your footage, check out episode 29 of Film Empire. In the layer dropdown, choose the point layer we made in the beginning. For a one point track, you can only choose the X and or Y movement as it doesn't know what the rotation or scale is. Click apply and we're done. You've successfully tracked your footage. And next, two point tracks. Two point tracks are used if you need the scale and or rotation of your object besides the X or Y movement. To do a two point track, make a new track as we did before, but in the type dropdown, choose two point track. Now, find two points that are visible throughout your video and add the red and green boxes to those points. Adjust them if necessary and track forwards or backwards. When HitFilm is done, we have to add it to our point layer again. Leave the purpose and choose the right point. We can now add the rotation and scale to the point layer besides the X and Y movement. I'll select all options and click apply. As you can see now, we have a perfectly tracked point. 
Thanks to Papa for suggesting this video. Now, if you have other video suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, I hope you liked that video. Now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one. Click my profile picture to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a great day.